Gabriela Riveros, and I grew up on the west side of Milwaukee, um, born and raised, and my parents are from Asuncion, uh, Paraguay. Uh, so growing up, I always kind of been into drawing, and then uh, I happened to go, or be lucky enough to go to schools that specialized in art. So um, amounting to my college career, uh, I thought illustration was the best fit because my drawings always told a story of some sort. So uh, my designs, I like to focus on like history and culture. I'm really into heritage, um, especially Latino heritage. So I try to integrate as much like history and kind of like lineage. And I research a lot of tradition and kind of like retranslate that into something that people can relate to modern day. Recently, my biggest inspiration is like Latino literature. So I, I really draw my inspirations from like the past. Um, for my audience though, I'm really inspired by people like me who want to know more about their identity and kind of like connect more with that because I think a lot of times people kind of lose their like cultural roots. I first um, started really getting into it when I actually went back to Paraguay and then um, I've been uh, just taking notes and like creating art while I was there and soaking up uh, it's like the own traditions that I would normally kind of like look past and just do. Uh, and then doing on my own time researching like Paraguayan history and art and understanding where everything comes from that we have present in our culture, like all the indigenous roots and the um, like Spanish roots and how all of those combine. I think I really love kind of like the mythology because Paraguayans are like well, they're like the ultimate mestizo for the most part, but like the indigenous is Guarani and um, the Guarani traditions and like culture is very present with us. So uh, one of my favorite things I take away from that is all the old tales and I love um, all the art along with it. They do a lot of traditional weavings and they have these really special delicate weavings that I incorporate a lot into my work as like an inspiration. Um, so the ones that I've done that have been most important to me was probably be um, some pieces from my um, undergrad work. There was one that I made that was very conceptual. It was about Day of the Dead and it was this young girl that was reconnecting with her, um, with her roots and she had a bunch of like um, Jose Posada skeletons dancing around her and after that was like, oh, like I really like the way this looks. So. I guess that was one of my most important pieces. I kind of launched um, the series of my current work. I have worked with uh, Colectivo Coffee, Cafe Corazon. I recently just worked with uh, this nonprofit called Noxteen out of California. Uh, Milwaukee Film Festival. This year, they wanted to do something crazy, colorful, and detailed. So they were trying to look for an artist that fit that bill. Um, so I had a professor that recommended me, so we linked up and they said, oh, your work's perfect for this. Um, the theme of it was the wild side of Milwaukee. Uh, so my main inspiration for that piece was medieval art. So the, la the main layout is based off Hieronymus Bosch's Garden of Earthly Delights, the center panel where um, it's kind of like this heavenly landscape. If you know your history well, you'll notice like medieval beasts that I've kind of reinterpreted as Milwaukee citizens. And then uh, I was also inspired by drolleries, which were uh, medieval, they were like really weird medieval doodles in the margins of illuminated manuscripts. So I usually start my um, drawings on paper and then I um, scan them in the computer and then with the computer I, um, I basically draw and paint digitally. 
I start out with research. That's always my base. So I like read. A, I I have a subject I'm kind of interested in knowing more about. So I research it, and then I do a lot of drawing, and I collect a lot of images, and I just keep drawing until I find the composition I'd like, and then I transform it into like an illustration. I always encourage uh, younger people to just kind of experiment. Don't be afraid to experiment and try out new things because you never know it could push your work in a whole new direction. And I'm torn between the actual researching part and then like the final piece because it feels really good when I have just see it all finished and pristine. It's really cool seeing more of the audience come out and um, relate and connect with my work. Uh, I love it when other uh, Latinos come up to me and are saying like, "Oh, I love this! Like, this is per like this is I identify with it." And I'm like, "Awesome! That's my goal." <laughs>